What we got today, guys, is a white Dodge stuck in a mud hole. And uh, poor Jason volunteered for rooting around in the mud. Thanks, Jason. So, yeah, we got this guy here. Uh, kind of slid down in this ditch and sunk the front end. So, we got four rigs set up. We got mine, Jason, Mark, and uh, Brandon. And we are going to get this thing out of here. Since he's a since he's a half ton pickup truck, heavily weighed down in the mud, we're going to do a four winch line off of him because he is buried all the way to the frame in that hole. So we are getting rigged up right now and about to start the fun. For a second, yeah, <laughs> I felt my whole front end sink down. Yeah, though, we did too. It just dropped, and then all of a sudden, as soon as we uh, yeah. got to a point, all right, guys. So, looks like we got him out so far. We got to do we're gonna do a test, unhook, and see if he can drive out now. Okay, you got it. All right, she's free spooked. So, one of the things we didn't get a chance to explain is we pulled two lines from the center receiver one from the left frame and one from the right frame. So we kept it nice and even across the whole thing to get him out. Mud's a little deceiving. It can really lock you in sometimes, sometimes not. This time he was pretty locked in. So. Yeah. We still have a bunch of gear in the bed, Jace, don't forget. But we'll get him out first. You're absolutely positive it's a four wheel drive, right? Shift to four low. Put it neutral first. Go to neutral, then four low. No, it was just blinking. He wasn't engaged. He had no front tire spinning. Okay, watch yourself, Jason. He's gonna try backing up now that it's actually engaged. All right, go ahead and try it now. Keep coming. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, he's not going up the hill though. Okay, so his tires are not handling the mud well, so we're going to pull him up and around that way. And then once we get him up on that ground there, we'll, uh, reposition him and uh, he'll go out that way rather than try to go up and out this hill. All right guys, they used a K rope to get him back up there. Seems to be having trouble with his four wheel drive. So they're gonna see if he can drive. And then once 
we know we can drive. We'll all load up and uh, get him out of there. So, looks like he is finally under his own power. <laughs>